Well, topping our news, plans called for a year-round indoor water park in Niagara Falls. But now the project is dead, and the developer blames a lack of state grant funding. In January, developer Michael DiCenzo spelled out his proposed water park project here on News 4. But he needed $2 million commitment from the state of New York to make it happen. And as uh, News 4's Luke Moretti reports, that never happened, and neither will the water park. Developer Michael DiCenzo is scrapping plans for an indoor water park in Niagara Falls. We're hopeful that, you know, the situation may change. It hasn't, and, you know, we've really had to make a hard decision to, to, to cancel the project. In January, we told you that DiCenzo had plans to build a $20 million water park at the north end of his Sheridan property in the Cataract City. But he says the state of New York passed on his request for a $2 million grant. Without the funding, he says the project is dead. You're putting the blame squarely on the state end. Absolutely. DiCenzo says the $10 million his company planned to invest in the water park will go elsewhere, likely to the Canadian side of the falls, where his company operates other properties. It's a business decision, but it's also personally disappointing uh, on our end. But, um, you know, we've got a lot of different plans in other markets, and we need to start moving forward with those plans. Christopher Shefflin is vice president of Empire State Development in Western New York. Certainly the private sector has their, the right to make their own decisions and uh, place the capital, place their capital as they see fit. We're disappointed and hopeful that we can work with him in the future. The state has committed Buffalo Billion funding for the proposed Wonder Falls project at the former Rainbow Mall in downtown Niagara Falls. The project's design, which includes a year-round indoor water park, was announced a few years ago. According to the state, between design and construction, it could take another two years before the resort opens. Still, the state passed on the DiCenzo project, even though the developer says he was ready to go. Here's what Shefflin told us when we talked to him in January. We've decided as a state to invest in one. Whether we invest in others, we've never said we, we never say never. We never say absolutely. Might we come back to other water parks someday? Possibly. Are we doing it at this point? Not necessarily. DiCenzo's company already operates one of three water parks on the Canadian side of the right, falls. So. He says while they work well in clusters, he doesn't understand the state's decision to back only one. They funded other hotels, and they all compete against each other. Um, you know, water park attractions much needed, and you're, in, in you're, and you're shutting the door on that. You bring the people in the market, and you give them choices, and they come back to the market more frequent um, to visit those choices, and that's what makes the market very successful from a water park standpoint. And it's very successful in Niagara Falls, Canada. Shefflin says that DiCenzo's properties have benefited from state funding in the past and that he hopes to work with him on future projects, just not another water park, at least not now. We want to uh, garner all the investment we can, but you know, I think also sometimes the state has to make strategic decisions about its investment with our limited capital dollars as well. No regrets on the part of the state for letting this project go? Uh, no, no regrets with our overall strategic vision and, and, and uh, our, our trajectory in Niagara right now. Michael DiCenzo praised other local agencies that he says stepped up with funding and tax incentives. We should point out that the state has given him about $600,000 for two previous projects. State officials say his Sheridan at the Falls on 3rd Street got $6 million in 2006 under a previous owner. But DiCenzo says without that $2 million from the state and for that water park, he had no choice but to pull the plug. So the state's vision is for one water park. One right falls. now, and that's the Wonder Falls project that obviously has been proposed, but we haven't yet seen any tangible advancements with regard to that project. They're saying something could be happening uh, soon. We'll keep everybody posted. No groundbreaking yet. Not yet, no. All right. Thank okay. you.